Hey, here's my trap. I'm trapping this one in there. Oh. Let's get in the water. And with this nail, I will anchor it to the land. I'll stick it in the soft dirt. I'll put just some water in my chat. All right, now I gotta get my bait. Now, what I'm gonna use for bait is minnows. I'm not gonna put them in alive. I hate, this is the worst part. I hate doing this part. <laughs> now, what these dead minnows are gonna do is let off a lot of nasty smells like a dead fish and such. And that will attract pretty much anything in the water. Fish, amphimas, sirens, anything really. Maybe even snakes if we're lucky. Baby snapping turtles. I'm gonna do this. I'm going to put a few in because that'll make the scent stronger. And the stronger the scent, the better luck I'll have. Now this is kind of gross and I do not enjoy it, but that's the price I have to pay. And the minnows have to pay. It's the circle of life, Simba. It's the circle of life. Alright, so I've got my bait in there now, and it's all ready to go. So I'll just send it out and let it sink. I've got a few minutes left, so I'll just let them go. It'll drift around within the anchor's length. Hey guys, there's my trap sitting right there. And I think I see something in it, so let's see what's in it. Well, I did catch something in here, and if I can get it out, it's really wiggly. Oh, oh, there it is. I can't quite tell what it is. It's either a siren or an emphima. Let's see. Yeah, it's a siren. Wow, and these guys are really cool. This is actually the smallest one I've ever caught. And it's surprisingly being very behaving very well. Um, these guys are almost impossible to handle because they're just so slippery. I can't tell you how slippery they are. But yeah, these are some cool little salamanders. And these are actually some of the only salamanders that I've ever caught in Florida. Check that little guy out. Oh! <laughs> well, he's been in the trap and it's getting kind of hot. So it's best if I uh, let it go as soon as possible. So I'll see if I can get it out. I'll show you guys it real quick. So there it is. And you can see it's super slippery. And I'll just let him, wow, oh, check that out. And they can bite, but this one's choosing not to. So I'm very grateful for that. But I'll just let him go into the muck. Such cool salamanders. The funny thing about the one I caught was it was really small. They can get up to about three feet. And so, for this one to be only about a foot and a half maybe, it's actually kind of unusual. I've caught only three before and that's definitely the smallest one I've caught. But yeah, they're really cool salamanders. I love them. This little pond here is a cow pond. It was dug for to water the cows out in the cow pasture back there. But um, 
Yeah, so it's not a natural pond, but over time stuff gets in here. And these amphimas can actually move over land. Sometimes during heavy rains they'll transport themselves from one pond to the next. And yes, these guys do spend their entire lives in the water. Florida's biggest salamander. That was a small one, but hopefully we'll catch bigger ones later. Yeah, what a cool little guy. I was being absent-minded and I let it go before I could take some pictures. Oh well. Oh, I can catch more. Yeah, I can catch more. Got this awesome trap. I can catch more. No big deal. Alright, see ya.